Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is software cursor. So a software cursor is this item here. When I run my project now, it's set up. I have it right here, and you can see it moving around. It reacts just like a normal cursor. It just looks different. And this is a cursor that's set up to be run in software. We're going to cover how we do that as well as some of the issues you might run into. So first things first, inside of your project settings, if we search for cursor, under engine user interface, we have hardware and software cursors. This video discusses software cursors. Now you can see in here, I have one option, default, and it's linking to my widget blueprint called custom cursor. And that custom cursor is this image we see here. Now I can go ahead and I will delete this so I can show you how it works. We're going to click add. We have zero here. So we'll add. Choose the cu cursor you want to override. So here's the different cursors we have access to. Default, which is your default cursor if you're not doing anything else. Then things like your crosshairs, a hand, cardinal crosses, resize beams, text edit beams like in a text edit box, things like that. And then what you want to overwrite with. So we're going to go with default. And then you pick your blueprint. In this case, widget blueprint custom cursor. And that's it. If you do that and you have a cursor set up, a custom widget, when you run your project, you will have a software cursor for that exact type. Now here's the issue we're going to run into. Positioning will not be correct by default. As you can see here, I expect to be able to click at the top. If I hit play, move my mouse, well, that doesn't work. The hot spot is actually in the middle here, and I can show you that. Let me open up this widget here. I'm going to run this and connect this just for example purposes. We'll go back into our custom cursor. We'll run it, and you'll notice when I actually get to the trigger point, it turns to this crosshair, and you'll notice it's right about the middle. Well, the first thing is, by default, it's going to set it up to be the middle of the image unless you do some magic, and this is just the way it's supposed to be set up. I don't know why. It just is. You want to wrap this with a canvas panel. The canvas panel gives you absolute positioning of the items underneath it. In this case, our image or our cursor. We're going to set it up to the appropriate size. So in this case, I want it to be 32 wide by 32 because that's the size of my image. So now you can see it's inside of it. Now up here, if you want, you could do custom instead of fill screen. By doing custom, whoops. And setting it to 32 by 32, I kind of make everything fit properly. So you can see here. Now, if we were to go ahead and run this with our defaults, we'll hit play again. You'll notice, well, it's still in the middle. That's just the way it's going to work out. What you want to do if your defaults are set to this is adjust your position X and your position Y of your image. So the middle point here, this middle center point, matches where you want on your image to be the center point. So in this case, I want to be the top. So I'm going to move my Y 16 nope, down, not negative. And now you can see the center point of this. This is so annoying when you have to zoom in properly because it's so small. The center point of our canvas panel. You can see that here. The center point is the tip of our arrow. So now if we run this, it should work properly. And it doesn't. Well, the reason for that is we need to set our anchors so now we set our anchor to the middle we'll go ahead and compile and run again and now you'll see it's exactly like we expected right there if you want it to be in the top left for example well let's adjust this over 16. no nope, wrong one not the y we want our let's see x to be negative 32. no that's the wrong direction so let's go to 32. no nope, still the wrong direction 16. No, we're still getting there. Zero. There we go. Okay. Now it's zero, zero. It just takes some time. But you can see the top left of our arrow is the middle point on this canvas panel. Now we'll hit play, and you'll notice it should work just like we expected. Let me put that back to how I want that. Negative 16. So it matches. It's a little complicated. It's a little annoying. Just keep in mind, parent it to a canvas panel. Now that you have an image, you have exact positioning. Anchor to the middle. Make sure your size X and Y matches your image so it's exact. And then just position their picture to.
to the center point of this canvas panel and it's going to work. Now the second issue is software cursors are bound by your frames per second. So if we run this, everything looks good. Everything's working. It, we don't seem to have an issue. Now I'm going to run the t.maxfps command and set it to something like 5. Now watch my cursor as I move it. I have five frames per second in my project, therefore my cursor is actually going to update five times per second. That is an issue with software cursors. That is the downside to software cursors. The upside is they work on pretty much every platform. The downside is they are reliant on your frames per second. If we were to go back into our settings, we're going to remove the software cursor. So now we're back to our normal built-in hardware cursors, run our example. Set our max FPS back to 5. You notice my cursor is fine. This lags out at 5, but my cursor itself works fine because it's a hardware cursor. So keep that in mind. Software cursors, help if I do that properly, are limited by your frames per second. And that's it. Those are the basics of the software cursor in Unreal Engine. We're going to make a widget blueprint that will be defined as your cursor. In this case, it's an image. Your center point, if you just use an image, is going to be your hotspot. If you wish to adjust it, make sure you parent it to a canvas panel. And then go ahead and anchor to the middle and adjust it so the middle of this canvas panel is your hotspot. Your cursors are software, frames per second limited. And you access them in the project settings under engine user interface, software cursors. And you simply add them to... A replace the existing cursors with your custom software cursor.